Hello, welcome pen friends. Today's an exciting day for me. Um, I, it's a new pen day and I've wanted one of these pens for a long time. Um, at one point I had decided not to get one until I could go to a pen show, but then I also decided to go home to Vermont before I go to a pen show and then COVID and everything came and <laughs> got involved in our lives. So um, I, this is what happened. I started talking about how I wanted to get a Lamy 2000 in 2022 and then unexpectedly and unknown to me on Christmas I found out that I got gifted money and I did not expect that but I got online right away and I started looking and it was fresh in my mind that someone told me to look for deals you know to make sure to look for discounts and I don't know how but it just popped right up and uh, Pen Chalet was having a wicked sale. So I kept looking at it, making sure I wasn't missing something like, what am I doing? Maybe I'm accidentally ordering a Lamy something that isn't got a, it's not a fountain pen or something. But anyway, uh, it ended up being under $140, which is, you know, they retail, I think around $199. So I'm excited and I thought I'd open the box and look at it. And then I will pause and ink it up and write with it. But then at the end of the video, I'll just show you, because uh, this is December 30th, uh, 2021, as I'm videotaping, and I'm making decisions about what I'm going to ink up with for January. So, well, but we'll do this first. We'll get into the box, <laughs> hopefully, with my trusty knife. I've got the camera up above, so it's kind of maybe a little dangerous. Okay, let me make sure I get any packing slips out. And so on. Okay, here's the pen. Ooh, some coupons and lucky numbers and so on and so forth. Lamy 2000 fountain pen, broad nib. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Let me put this away before I <laughs> hurt myself. Gosh, it came quick. Goodness. Okay, I'm glad because this will be nice. It'll be a start for the year. A new pen and a new year. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, nice box. Okay. Little slip case. I'm not doing a review or anything. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just sharing the excitement here. Ooh. Um, so interesting because right off the bat, uh, what I think I'm going to like is the fact that, well, it's got a, a smooth gold nib. And the other thing I think I'm going to like is the, the cap being, uh, a slip cap. Woo, that is a broad nib. Yes, it is. It almost looks like a stub nib. <laughs> but I'm familiar with what this uh, writes like because one of my pen friends writes with this uh, with a broad nib all the time. So when I was trying to decide medium or broad, I, I kind of knew that their medium Lamy 2000 would be a juicy writer as well. But I'm satisfied so completely with uh, Twisby medium nibs for all my medium nib writing pretty much. Um, and then I also have a lot of number six medium nibs, Goulet nibs and Yowo nibs, well, all the same, but still. So I think what I need to do now is go clean the pen. I'll, I'll pause the video, go clean the pen and ink it up. And then it'll be, there we go, my first time to write with it. <laughs> To write with a Lamy 2000. I like the material. It's very uh, kind of almost, it's very, can't even think of the word for it. It's lightweight, but it's smooth, but it's also a little bit texturized. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, I haven't thought about what to ink it with, so I better think fast. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I took the pen to the sink and cleaned it. And uh, you do have to do that because Lamy, uh, these are some of the blue lines, you know, from uh, after, you know, cleaning that I got until finally somewhere over here, <laughs> no more uh, ink. So I did that maybe, I don't know, six times. And then I filled it with uh, a pilot of Roshizuku. Uh, I wish I could pronounce that from my pen friend MB. This is my new favorite ink, by the way. I just love it. And so I've got it recorded in my little um, currently inked, so I won't forget. And I've just written with it just that much. But now <clears throat> you'll get to see me write the first, except for that little entry. 
in my little Tamari River Currently Inked book, which is going to get a lot busier because now I've got um, eight, my eight pens chosen, I think. So tomorrow I'll be busy doing that. Gee, I'm kind of wasting a lot of paper here. I really don't need to either. I think I could put it right here <clears throat> on the other side of the Opus 88 mini pocket. Okay, let me make this a little closer. Um, the first thing... Gee, I'm getting the cart before the horse here. Is that what you say? Yeah, I think that's what you say. I didn't even explore the interior of the box, which I meant to do to see uh, if they send anything. Yeah, I guess they do. I guess they send a little paper. Insert a little paper with some more tempting things. Okay. Uh, but I had already looked at a video, so I would know how to clean it. And i uh, been kind of anticipating this event for couple years here so okay well the box is the box but the first thing I noticed oh dear <clears throat> I really did make that close didn't I was that when I look at the the nib <clears throat> let's see the box is labeled broad yeah it's labeled broad and everything whoops get that to focus uh, it actually looks more like a stub nib, so that's interesting. And that kind of explains why my, when my pen friend writes to me with his Lamy broad nib, then uh, it has that look, almost like a, a polished, uh, rounded uh, <clears throat> stub nib. So that's a fascinating, really amazing. <clears throat> okay, so here goes. Ooh. Super smooth and super nice and broad. <clears throat> I love it. But I think I'll be holding it the same way I do a stub nib. <clears throat> I really do. That is neat. I, I want it for letter writing. That's, that's what I want to use it for. So. Lummy 2000. Broad. Okay, and then I've got to have my ink over here because I can never spell it. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I was expecting it tomorrow. It was uh, tracking to arrive here in Texas on uh, the 31st of December. So I was busy with, um, I've got an upside down project with a <clears throat> one of my bookshelves and everything. And when I heard the mailman arrive and then I heard the little beep, I was like, oh, maybe it's my pen a day early or something. And sure enough. <laughs> so I got uh, not only their 30% off, but there was some other code that it asked you to put in. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, it was like, 137 something it was almost 140 but uh, that was a, an amazing savings and just dumb luck on my part I think that I just happened to go checking uh, right when they were starting their year-end uh, whatever it is close out okay let's do a sentence I know I'm excited but <clears throat> oh gosh this is super smooth <laughs> oh, wow. I do love it. I really love it. I'm just amazed. Um, I should probably have even studied more, but I really don't think I would have wanted a medium for what I want it for the most. Um, I've got so many uh, good medium nibs that I, I'm comfortable with and everything, but to write a letter, this is comfortable for me too. Thank goodness. I've, I've heard that it isn't for everyone, so... And one of the other things I would like to do is grab out my Lamy. Uh, of course, it's a whole different nib than the Safaris, but I know they're they're very different. So I'm going to grab my Lamy broad nib. I think I think I still have one right here that's on a All Star. Let's see, yeah, I can reach it from right here. I think this is a broad nib. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is the Lamy. 
All Star. I believe this is the uh, Vibrant Pink. Vibrant Pink with a broad. I don't remember what I have in this. It's probably the same ink. <laughs> I've been on a real tear about this ink, so I wouldn't be surprised. No! Oh! Huh. Really? Okay, hold on. Let me see. Oh, no! This is the party time. This is uh, Diamine uh, Party Time from the ink vent, and I didn't, like, uh, agitate it. So, anyway, I, what I was trying to do, I'll just put a line here was just compare the Lamy Broad on the All-Star with the Lamy 2000. And it is broader on the, of course, it's a different ink, so we're, we're not, I mean, it's in the same exact color family, just about, but it isn't the same, so we're not going to get, uh, but yeah, I can see, see on those down strokes, let's go ahead and we'll compare it side by side. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's broader than, so this is the 2000. Oops, I didn't hold it right. And then this is the All Star. Well, it's just a standard Lamy new. Oh, would be nice if I could ensure that I <laughs> have you in the frame. Okay, so that's the two. Wow, I, I'm just excited. I'm super excited. So that kind of transitions. This is definitely not the last you'll be <laughs> hearing uh, my impressions and my experience with this pen. Um, I'm so excited. I just couldn't wait for the other video, which I will be doing, which is Chris's inked pens. I'm just not sure when because we're still operating under holiday uh, <laughs> events and... Um, details and things that we're, we're working on. So let me just pull over what I have pulled out so far. I have not selected all my inks, but I've, I think I'm going to stick with this as far as my pens. Of course, the Lamy 2000 is going to go right here. Okay, so let me make sure we can... Oh my. <laughs> Breathe, Chris. Okay, so this is just a preview. It could change because I've got um, the rest of today <laughs> and tomorrow that I'm sort of uh, contemplating and I'm still cleaning some pens. But I was thinking that I might stick with, with this lineup for pens. And I had already chosen one ink. I chose Diatrementis Mint Turquoise to go in the Twisby Jade, which I also ended up getting with birthday uh, gift certificate to Goulet. I got that and I got the little, um, I combined two ink samples I purchased from them. Now, uh, this is the Sailor Compass in the purple, but I don't think I'll be using a cartridge because it came with a converter. So I'll probably go for a nice dark purple, but I haven't selected that yet. Then I'm I really craving uh, writing again with my Mont Blanc one, uh, 145. And it's, uh, it's because I have a specific ink that I love in this. So we'll, we'll see that when I do that other... Uh, video and then of course I when I was trying to make sure I could decide the permanent home for the Lamy 2000 which will probably be in my pen case but <laughs> the pens in use rather than it put away still I was looking to see okay it's probably going to go in the same case that holds the Mont Blanc and the Platinum 3776 which I haven't written with for a little while, and I love the pen. I just was afraid I was going to crack the section on this one, too. It's been replaced. So I'm um, going to pick a nice ink for that. And then I did uh, yesterday in the Opus 88 demonstrator, I put in uh, a 3.0 parallel nib, and I, I actually, I love the color. I'm, I'm on a, a true um, magenta just... Uh, jag, I guess you could call it. I, there's nothing else I can think of. So I'm, whatever I've got three mils of that uh, strikes me the hardest, I guess, will go in this one um, so I can make some nice, big, uh, fancy writing. And I don't know. I'm not willing to wait till February, I guess. So same with this pen. This is, would make more sense in February. But I just finally, with uh, channel money, got a broad nib for this so that now I have two of these uh, Moon Mans with a broad nib. And I'm really, I really favor this one because it doesn't get as difficult to clean 
because it's got a little bit of camouflage with the finish. The pure clean one, I did a really good job, but it still has a little bit of staining from Acabe and from Bunga Box Lamont. But, you know, it I could get harsher, I guess, but I'm just going to refill that pen anyway, so... I, I don't even see using anything else stronger on it. And then, unless I change my mind, I'm going to try this uh, red Prefonte. And I think I've got a converter that I can move over because I've got a pen that really needs to be cleaned anyway. Oh, actually, I need to get the converter in here. Yeah, I'm going to be short a converter, so I'll probably fill a cartridge for this one. And that other converter will have to go over here. That's a hole in my system. I need to get probably two more... Uh, platinum converters but anyway now I'm just jabbering um I hope you enjoyed this I if you followed my journey you know that I've I've wanted one of these for a long time I just kind of dragged my feet and wasn't sure entirely uh because of uh well, you know, it's a solid color, and I, I love demonstrators, but it's just such a, a iconic pen, and to not have one to try and write with and enjoy, I just, uh, it didn't really make sense any longer. As soon as I got that Christmas money, I thought, now, before I nickel and dime this, let's <laughs> let's get busy here and, and, and order a Lamy 2000. So that's what I did, but I will be back um I'll fill up the rest of these pens, and as soon as I can, I will be back with um, with that um, to start uh, 2022. Can you believe <laughs> 2022 is knocking on our door here? So um, thank you for watching, and thank you for all your encouragement. And, and the people that said look out for sales, they're really the ones I have to thank for me realizing that that was a possibility and kind of slowing down to look for that and so um you know i just kind of scoured and it just popped up and i think i got really lucky to uh nab it with a broad nib before they were gone so all right i'll see you next time and and thank you very much for watching bye for now